This is Valmiki Ramayan, Season 7, Episode 14. Ravan suffers more setbacks. The herbs had done the job. Ram, Lakshman and others grievously injured during Indrajit's assault had all recovered. Without wasting a moment, Sugriv ordered a counter-attack. It was still dark. He told his troops to charge into the city with fire torches and set the grand buildings alight. This took the Rakshasas by complete surprise. The guards at the gates ran away in fear and the Vanaras ran amok in the streets and squares. Remember, Hanuman had caused a great fire in Lanka in the Sundarkand. He had done it to strike fear in the enemy's heart even before the war had started. But now the objective was different. Sugriv wanted to deal a severe blow to Ravan's ability to fight the ongoing war. As the flames leapt up, there was chaos in the streets of Lanka. Men and women ran about in horror, as did elephants and horses. And the tools of war got burnt to ashes. Tanutrani cha yodha naam hastyashwa naam cha varmacha khadgah dhanushi cha banah. The blaze destroyed the soldiers' body armor, protective coats of elephants and horses, swords, bows, bowstrings, and arrows. The Vanaras roared, the Rakshasas screamed, and the buildings crackled and crumbled. And then, just as quickly as they had come, the Vanaras retreated to their positions outside the city. Ravan was livid when he realized what the Vanaras had done. He then sent Kumbhakarna's sons, Kumbha and Nikumbha, to lead the next Rakshas charge. And they were supported by Prajanga, Shonitaksha and Yupaksha. Valmiki has described all these battles in graphic detail without mincing any words. For example, Valmiki says, Hanuman repeatedly punched Nikumb and pinned him down by sitting on top of him. And then, Parigrihya chapahu bhyam parivritya shirodharam utpataya maas shirah bhairavam nadato mahat. He gripped Nikum's neck, twisted it, and tore the head off, even as the Rakshas let out a terrifying scream. Some of the details may seem gory at times, but they bring out the unique nature of this war. Remember, the Rakshas army was an extremely well-equipped and well-armed war machine. They could attack from a distance by firing arrows and throwing spears. Even in close combat, they had their swords and maces. On the other hand, the Vanaras had no proper weapons. So, they charged at the Rakshasas while throwing rocks and tree trunks. And when they got closer, they punched, kicked, clawed and even bit them. And they finally killed their enemies by smashing their heads with boulders, strangling them or decapitating them with their own swords and maces. How incredible that in this war, the army without any weapons was winning again and again. Ravan then sent her son Makaraksha. Makaraksha wanted to avenge his father's death. He went straight for Ram and challenged him. And although he fought bravely, he was no match for Ram. When Ravan heard that even Makaraksha was no more, he turned once again to Indrajit. He said in desperation, Do something! Kill those two brothers Ram and Lakshman! Indrajit got ready for battle once again. He consecrated a fire at the Yajna altar and prepared his weapons. Upon reaching the battlefield, Indrajit lit up something that created a lot of smoke. Dhumandhakaram Chakre 
Soon, the crown was covered by a thick fog. Dishah nihara tamasavritah. Indrajit then started his attack. He killed and maimed hundreds of Vanaras. Ram and Lakshman were injured too. And they could do little to counter-attack. For Indrajit kept changing his position. No one could read his moves. And then suddenly, Indrajit retreated into the city. It was now time for the second part of his game plan. Mohanartham to Sarvesham Buddhim Kritva Sudurmati The wicked Indrajit had hatched a plot to fool everyone. He now came out of the western gate of the city. This time, he had with him on his chariot someone that looked like Sita, a Mayamai Sita, an illusory Sita. Hanuman saw Indrajit in the distance and was alarmed. He saw a frail figure in the chariot and thought it was Sita. Indrajit grabbed the woman by her hair and started hitting her. She pleaded for help. Ram! Ram! Hanuman and the Vanaras rushed towards Indrajit, but his troops held them back. Hanuman screamed, Stop that! But Indrajit replied, Nahantavya striyascheti yad bravishi plavangama pida karma mitranam yachakartavya mevatat. You may think that killing a woman is not correct, but for me, Whatever harms my enemy must be done. On this matter, Indrajit thought like Ravan. It was okay to use a woman as a tool of war. And then, as they looked on helplessly, Indrajit appeared to strike the woman with his sword and she collapsed onto the floor of the chariot. Indrajit shouted with glee, Look, I have killed Sita! Ram's dear wife, all your efforts have proved futile. And then he went back inside the city, smug and satisfied with what he had done. The Vanarami started to panic. If Sita was dead, what were they supposed to fight for? But Hanuman held the forces together. He told them to wait for orders while he reported to Ram and Sugriv what he had just seen. We will see how Ram reacts to this news in the next episode. Iti, her, asa. That is how it happened. <laughs>